We're back with Sporkle. Watch this. No! No! I don't want to go! I don't want to go! I'm just kidding. I was, I was in control the whole time. I'm going to move myself over here so that uh, you can maybe see some of the answers better as I type them in. Uh, I fooled you. Did I break the fourth wall there a little bit? Especially when I actually... Dude, that would be a great stream. If you pre-recorded a stream and then you like had the... How did you say something like, I thought I had more time. And then drag the camera all the way off the screen and then have it go like, tick, 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 like some visual artifacts pop up, pop up. And then I come back, but I'm like a little different. It's like an invasion of the body snatchers sort of thing. Anyway, okay. 1800s history. The Holy Roman Empire is dissolved. Colombia, Mexico, Chile, and West Florida gain independence from Spain. The kingdom of Vientian is annexed by France. China, Laos, Thailand, Netherlands. Where the heck is Vientiane? The Republic of Texas declares its independence from Mexico. The colony of New Blank is separated from New South Wales. New Zealand? The Blank Free State is established in Southern Africa. I don't know. Russia sells Alaska to the U.S. Rome replaces... Milan, Venice as the capital of Italy. Milan. Naples. Vatican City. Rome, Rome wasn't the capital of Italy? It's not called the Mil, Milanese <laughs> Empire. Macau becomes a colony of China. Japan? Macau becomes a, a colony of the USA. The Joseon Dynasty becomes the Korean Empire. Okay. The kingdom of Vientiane is annexed by Japan. <laughs> Rome replaces... Macau becomes a colony of UK. United Kingdom. England. Portugal. Just type Germany. Maybe you'll get one. Vientiane is annexed by... Belgium. I feel like it should be of, of Andorra, <laughs> Ireland. Doesn't make any sense, man. Denmark? China? Japan? Mongolia? Isn't Vientiane in southeastern Asia? Algeria? I mean, I'm just I'm throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks, man. It is in Southeastern Asia. Whatever, I give up. You got me. Oh, Siam! Okay, the Orange Free State was established. Rome replaces Florence as the capital of Italy. I feel like I could have gotten that one. I didn't even beat the average on this one. That's so embarrassing. Get the picture. Continent by former country. Zanzibar used to be on Africa. Holy Roman Empire. That's Eurasia. Naples, Eurasia. Persia, that's Asia. Orange Free State, that's Africa. This is too easy. Wadai is Africa. Pomerania, that's Europe. Bali, that's Asia. Kush, sounds Asian to me. Never mind. Sarawak, that's Southeast Asia. Weimar Republic, that's Europe. Songhai, that's Asia. Sikkim, that's Africa. Brittany, that's Eurasia. Siam is Asia. I mean, I said I meant Europe for that one. Hey, we beat the average by 2%. Okay, okay. Embarrassing. Play today's daily dose. Adele or Adele? Dude... Come on. I mean, is a computer company, Dell. Approximate net worth, $190 million, Adele. Founded in 1988. Honestly, I think that's Adele. Is a human being, that would be Adele. Go easy on me, that's got to be Adele. From London, that's got to be Adele. Set fire to the rain, I'm going to say that's Adele. From Texas, that's Dell. 
1984, that's Dell. Net worth $94 billion, that would be Dell. Set fire to themselves in 2006, that would be Dell. Easy as Dell. <laughs> I would have been stunned if Adele had literally set fire to herself in 2006. I feel like I would have heard about that. How about TV Sons? That's... Your son is this kid right here, for sure. John Hamm, your son is... I think it's this kid right here, but I'm going to pass. I don't even know who you are. Winona Ryder's kid is Will Byers. That's Will Byers right there. You are a Brady Bunch kid. Kid from the Brady Bunch right here. That's Malcolm in the middle. I feel like you're from Lost. You look like you're from Lost. That's Rick Grimes. That's Eric Foreman. That's Tommen the King. Okay, I can do this. This looks like it's a CW show. We got a little Lost, and we got a little John Hamm. I'm going to be honest with you. This kid is in a car seat. They didn't have those in the 1960s. Ergo, it must be Lost. Any questions? What the heck is Parks and Rec Horse? I don't know anything about horses or Parks and Rec. Quick pick TV daughters. I only get a minute. This is crazy. Okay, your daughter is a Stark. I don't even know who you are. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. This is Gilmore Girls. This is That 70s Show. Donna's your daughter. This should be an Olsen twin. I don't know who you are. This should be you. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. Who the hell? Yeah, this must be Stranger Things. That's Nancy, whatever her name is. Okay, what the hell? 33 seconds. Chill out. Your kid is one of these two kids. You're from a comedy show. This is filmed like a comedy. You're a little older. I think this is your daughter. Oh, this is a CW show for sure. You're too young. You're too young. F average score 58%? Thought we did pretty well there. Quick pick, TV cops. Chad, calm yourself. Cop from The Walking Dead. Nope. True Detective. CSI. I'm moving on. Brooklyn Nine Nine. Right there. I'm way too slow. Grim. New Girl. Arrow. Line of Duty. The Wire. Okay. Everybody loves Raymond. Doesn't give me Luther. Walking Dead. One of you's from the damn Walking. Oh, it's Rick Grimes, dude. Okay. CSI. Crime Seaman Scene Investigator. I almost said Crime Seaman Investigator. Bones. This guy's in comedies, so you're from New Girl, probably. Arrow, which one of these looks like a CW show? Fucking this. Uh, ooh, line of Duty, that sounds like... Ooh. CSI, CSI. Which one of you? You're from CSI. Bones. David Boreanaz was on Bones. Now I realize that. CW show? Confirmed. Why does every CW show looks like it's shot by the Sears Picture Studio cameraman? Like, they, you could imagine the laser beam effects being in the background. They're all filmed in Vancouver, too. It's really like a self-insult. Every once in a while, in my, my journeys around the city of Vancouver, if you stay here long enough, you will see, like, some CW show being filmed. Arrow, The Flash, etc., etc. Supergirl. Every once in a while, I walk by like they're doing some kind of remote shoot, and I'm like, I bet I could just take something from craft services. They're just like, well, they got one person. I don't know if you need like a lanyard or something like that, but they take over public space in my city to film these shows. 
And now I can't walk the normal way I walk on the sidewalk. Guess what? Next time I see it, I'm going to take a bag of hard bite barbecue potato chips, okay? Is my city? Yeah. I paid the tax for the sidewalk. Now I can't use the sidewalk because eight people on earth love watching the season 15 of Arrow. Anyway, how about, how about next quick pick? TV villains. I can do this. 100% incoming. Game of Thrones. Well, it's debatable. Okay, I guess it's not debatable. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. The Walking Dead. It's got to be you. Lost. Glee. You're the villain? I thought you were one of the, the good ones. Okay, Moriarty. Stranger Things. You're a villain. Arrow. It's got to be. the uh, Dude, this guy's... He's in every... No, you're the bad guy from Heroes. No, you're the bad guy from Heroes. Lost Arrow. Dude, that's Arrow. That's Lost. Okay. 100%. Average score, 71. I'm, I know this guy. He's in a lot of good stuff. I think I may have once tweeted. This seems like I tweeted this. Did I not tweet, if you see this mf -er in a movie, you know it's going to be good, and it was this guy's face? Neil McDonough. Yeah, Neil McDonough. I believe I made that tweet once. Quick pick, TV shows by Funko Pop. That's Twin Peaks. That's Game of Thrones. That's got to be Stranger Things. That's Lost. I don't know. That's Gossip Girl. That's Baywatch. That's The Office. That's got to be the most cursed Funko Pop of all of them, man. That's got to be. I, okay, hold on. This is The Walking Dead. That's got to be The 100. That's The Brady Bunch. Oh, that's The Brady Bunch. That's New Girl. That was Phoebe from Friends. That was Smelly Cat, dude. We found it, the most bat chestable sporkle quiz of all time. I don't have any, I don't own any Funko Pops that I bought. Somebody sent me a custom Funko that they made to look like me, and we have it. So th th my, what happens is my daughter grabs that Funko Pop and she says, normal daddy. And then someone else sent me like a figurine of me as like an Isaac... A uh, character that has like a pentagram on his head and is holding a D6 that's kind of a similar size. She grabs the Funko Pop and says, normal daddy. Then she grabs the other one and says, angry daddy. And then usually like the way that she plays with them is she puts them on the arm of the sofa. And then she just pushes them both off at the same time and laughs. That's where she's at right now. Quick pick alliterative TV characters. Sue Sylvester. Yeah, I'm not going to do this. I need pictures. I'm sorry to tell I need pictures. Netflix shows screenshots. I can, I can do this. Sex education. I only have a minute. Gracie and Frankie. My mom tells me about this show all the time. It's got to be this. The Defenders, I have no idea. Kimmy Schmidt, that's that. Fuller House, I can do this. It's got to be this. The Crown. It's got to be... That's got to be, it's got to be this. <laughs> Trinkets, never heard of it. Glow, it's a wrestling show. It's a show about wrestling. It's this. Space Force, it's that. 13 Reasons Why, that's you. Stranger Things, series of unfortunate events, that's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, we got sex education, that's got to be this. Hold on, you got to be the defenders. Trinkets, that seems like a British show eight people watch. Sex education, 73% is the easiest quiz of my entire life. How about six Spanish shows? This is definitely high seas. I know this one. This is Money Heist, also known as the Casa de Papel. This is the uh, Grand Hotel. This is Elite. This is uh, Locked Up. I'm insane. I'm insane. I'm the best I ever do it. I don't know what to say. 
I might be Spanish. Six Stan shows. What does this mean? Can you pick the show made by Australian streaming company Stan? That's Wolf Creek. <laughs> That's the gloaming. That's got to be Bloom. I'm going to say this is Romper Stomper. That's the other guy. Oh, that's... Oh, oh we were... Dude! This is trivia where you, you know things? What a waste of your talents. Trivia where you have no idea what they're even asking? Yeah, battles by historical figure. No, I, I'm going to tell you, I, I'm actually going to do worse on this than Australian shows I've never seen. Battle of Trafalgar. That's Napoleon. I mean, that's um, Isaac Hammersmith. Horatio Nelson. Horatio, okay, Battle of Capua. That's in Italy. I'm going to say that that's J.R.R. Tolkien. No, that's William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare. <laughs> Battle of Princeton. Second Battle of Bull Run. Robert E. Lee. Little Bighorn, Custer, Agincourt. It's a it's a king. It's Harold Godwin's. No, it's not. It's Napoleon Bonaparte. Battle of Normandy. David Niven. Battle of Hastings. That's Harold Godwinson. Thermopylae. Leonidas the first. Bannockburn. I skip. Battle of the Somme. Battle of Capua. Hannibal. Battle of Princeton. King Henry V. Battle of Normandy. Battle of Bannockburn, Res Robert the Bruce, Battle of the Somme, King Henry V, Battle of Normandy, King Henry V. Which one? J.R.R. Tolkien? I must have missed the Battle of the Somme in the, the Silmarillion, apparently. Oh, because he was in the battle. He didn't write about it. I thought this shit was going to say Helm's Deep at some point. I thought it was going to be like a real battle. Oh, man. British monarchs who died in battle? Sure, yeah. Um, all right. Plays missing name. No, I, I, I'm very simple. I only do screenshots. Screenshots. It need to be screenshots? Percy Jackson's surnames? What the hell? Okay, Annabeth Chase. Charles? It's got to be Charles Underwood. Bianca Beckendorf, Clarice Beauregard, Talia, Talia Beauregard, Will, Will Gardner, he's straight out of The Good Wife, Luke Underwood, Silena Solis, Grover Nakamura, Michael Beckendorf, I'm going to say it's Katie LaRue, Ethan D'Angelo, all right, didn't do so well on that one. That first, when I clicked on it right off the bat though, oh man. Percy Jackson parents, Michael Yu. Okay, he's the uh, he's the father of Hephaestus. Nico D'Angelo, that's going to be Mars, I mean Aries. Silena Beauregard, that's Aphrodite. Annabeth Chase, that's got to be Demeter. Clarice LaRue, that's probably Demeter. Luke, that's Apollo. Katie, that's Demeter. Talia Grace, that's Athena. Charles Beckendorf, I'm going to say that's Hades. Percy Jackson, he's the lightning thief. I'm going to say that means Zeus. <laughs> Quick pick video game subtitles. Can you pick the video game franchise? Skyrim. This is so... I'm not even going to do this just because it's too easy. The Elder Scrolls. Medal of Honor. The Witcher. Call of Duty. Legend of Zelda. I don't know. <laughs> Uncharted. Resident Evil. Grand Theft Auto, Assassin's Creed, Fallout. It's too easy. I, I won't, I'm not building my stats by taking a quiz that easy, okay? I don't remember anything about Skyrim. We've gotten too deep down the rabbit hole. I'm not going to do quick pick J.J. Abrams, okay? Skyrim playthrough was so long ago, and I didn't enjoy it uh, at all. So I, I enjoyed streaming it. I didn't enjoy playing it. Okay, let me, let me find a new quiz. Today's top quizzes. Browse video game quizzes. I'd rather not.
What kind of quizzes should we do? We've done too much geography. We've done too much pop culture, but pop culture can still be fun. How about some new featured quizzes? Trending today. This but not that six. Can you pick the category to which the first part of the clue belongs but not the second? What? Canine but not feline. Teeth? Trap but not snare. What is a music genre? Snare but not kidnapped. <laughs> kidnapped but not captured? What the hell? Brazil but not Argentina. What is a movie? What is a movie from Terry Gilliam? Ace but not king. What is a tennis term? King but not queen. This is hard. I mean, queen is a mattress size too, so I don't trust that one. Maybe you can have a king nut. Queen but not jack, mattress sizes. Chevron but not Exxon Mobil. Kind of kiss? Chevron. Flag patterns? Tab but not alt, that's a diet soda. Alt but not enter. Enter but not exit. Keyboard keys. Pencil but not pen. <laughs> Skirt. Dutch but not French. Dutch rudder, it's a plumbing device, right? I'm just joking. It's not salad dressing. French but not Caesar. Not salad dressing. Caesar but not ranch. Not salad dressing. Ranch but not Italian. It's not salad dressing. Italian but not Japanese. We got salad dressing. Okay. Trap drums. Snare drums. Snare drums but not kidnapped drums. Kidnapped but not captured. I don't even know how to read this one. Ranch, but not Italian. That's a house. Caesar, but not ranch. French, but not Caesar. Sports Illustrated swimsuit models. Dutch, but not French. I feel like Dutch could be a president's nickname. Alt, but not enter. Alt nut. Alt. I don't even know what ciphers are. King but not queen. Ah, ah, Martin Luther King, civil rights icon. Kinds of kiss. Brazil nut. This is hard, dude. Caesar kiss. French, French kiss, but not a Caesar kiss. Okay, okay. I don't want a Caesar kiss, honestly. Caesar, but not ranch. Dutch, but not French. Robert Louis Stevenson wrote Treasure Island. Kidnapped, but not captured? That's got to be Robert Louis Stevenson novels. Nothing else even fits, okay? Plumbing devices. Trap has to be a plumbing device. Alt, but no enter. Is it possible that alt could be the name of a model that was in Sports Illustrated swimsuit models? Caesar, but not ranch. Dutch, but not French. Here's my thinking. Alt, but not enter. Sports Illustrated. Caesar, not ranch. Ciphers, Dutch, not French, presidential nicknames. Let's let it fly. It's just that easy. Caesar is a cipher. What does cipher mean, though? Is that like it's part of the NATO alphabet or something? Mm -hmm. 
You could use it for a coded language. Well, couldn't you use anything for a coded language? Couldn't you create a cipher of your own choosing? If everybody knows what your cipher is, doesn't that invalidate the cipher? It's a bad one. Well, isn't that people use like that ROT13 cipher to like tweet spoilers? And then if you want to see the spoiler, you just put it through the decoder yourself. I guess that's sensible. You don't always need to encrypt something so that nobody can get it, I guess. It's exactly that one. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. You got me. That's the Caesar cipher. Dude, I could go for a Caesar salad right now. I don't know about a Caesar cipher. These are, these are breaking my damn brain. Stars, but not stripes. What is a gaseous celestial body? Stripes, but not plaid? Stripes. Elements of the U.S. flag. Diamonds, but not hearts. What is the shape of a sports field? Clubs, but not organizations. Playing card suits. Yankees, but not Canucks. Those would be MLB teams. Queens, but not Kings. Names of New York City boroughs. Kingston, but not Princeton. World capitals. Princeton, but not Duke. Ivy League schools. Mercury, but not Apollo. Those are planets. Those are chemical elements. Apollo, but not Gemini. Those are Greek gods. Oh, no, those are... Pass. Gemini, but not Taurus. Taurus, but not Mustang. What is a sign of the Zodiac? Well, I don't know why I keep saying what is. Mustang, but not Appaloosa. Those are current Ford card models. Cowboys, those would be NFL teams. Revolver, but not Rope. That's a Beatles album. Rope, but not Wrench. Wrench is a weapon. Wrench, but not Hammer. That's a clue weapon. Thunder, but not Lightning. That would be the NBA teams. Okay, I'm going to say that your Rope is a Hitchcock movie, I suppose. Apollo, but not Gemini. Gemini, but not Taurus. Taurus is not a Greek god. Neither is Gemini. <laughs> Fair enough. Why do you think Gemini is a Greek god? Is it a Roman god? No? It's a star? Oh, what the hell? I gotta be honest, that one's too easy. Take me to 32. This but not that 32. Marmalade but not Gaga. This would not be musical ladies then. Gaga but not Cuckoo. There would be musical ladies. Cuckoo but not mad. What is the type of clock? Mad but not nuts. Synonyms for... No, not synonyms for crazy. I pass. Nuts but not psycho. Things you could put on ice cream to, as a topping. I don't know. Psycho, but not crackers. Movies by Al Alfred Hitchcock. Yes! Same, but not kraken. Okay, what this, this is a synonym for crazy. And then kraken, but not ducks, would be a, a, a monster. Ducks, but not jets. Are gangs... No, that's sharks and jets. Ducks, but not jets. Things a dodgeball player does. Jets, but not sharks. Flying machines. Sharks, but not kings. 
Gangs from the West Side Story. Kings, but not Lightning. They're dancing around the, N the NHL teams, man. Kings, but not Lightning. Lightning, but not Galileo. That's finally NHL teams. Galileo, but not Figaro. Astronomers. Figaro, but not Fandango. So it's not Bohemian Rhapsody. So it's probably Barber of Seville. Fandango, but not Beelzebub. Fandango must be a Spanish dance. Beelzebub, but not Magnifico. Oh, oh, oh. That would be names for the devil. Magnifico, but not fantastic. Eek, eek, eek. That must be a humor magazine. I'm gonna. This is lyrics. Marmalade, but not Gaga. Fruit preserves. Mad magazine. Number of numbered books of the Bible. Nuts. I forgot there was one more left. I didn't even see fasteners. I had a complete blind spot. I thought it was the book of nuts. By default. Holy cow. So close to a perfect two. Pen, but not pencil. Things you place with an apple pen. Animal enclosures. Beef, but not pork. Slang word for dispute. Pork, but not chicken. Name for government spending. Chicken, but not kiwi. What is a common meat in the supermarket? Kiwi, but not fin. What is a fruit? Fin, but not ray. I'm going to say a Finn is probably a Scottish church, but I'm going to pass on that for a second. Ray, but not Luke. Wait, no. Finn, but not Ray. Nationalities. Ray, but not Luke. I have no idea. Luke, but not Han. I pass. Wait, no, he must have written the gospel. Han, but not Leia. What is a Chinese imperial dynasty? Leia, but not Uhura. Star Wars main character. Uhura, but not Sulu. This is impossible. Sulu, but not Kirk. What is a name derived from Swahili words? No, Kirk, but not Spock. What is a Scottish church? I only know that because of Dark Souls. Spock, but not Scotty. All-time selling, best-selling childcare book authors. Scotty, but not McCoy. What is a terrier breed? McCoy, but not Chekhov. Famous feuding families. Chekhov, but not Gogol. Cast member. Gogol, but not Google. Ukrainian-born author. Ray, but not Luke. Maybe Ray is Spanish for emperor. Uhura could be a name derived from a Swahili word. And we all... Okay, we only got one left. Oh, that's not so bad. What, what's the province of the Philippines? Sulu. Okay, honestly, I thought we did pretty well on these. Let's mix it up again. Let's just for fun. I do like a clickable quiz. Every time I scroll, I'm like, I see quizzes that are like science, science, science. No thanks. How about best picture nominees by winning actors 2000? Yep, I could do that. But let's just because we can do that, we shouldn't do that because we know that we could do that. I really like the one that was like higher or lower for like the six countries in order to guess the world leader. I just have no idea how to search for that right now. Food quiz. Dude, the food quiz was kind of sick too. You know what? Very good point. I just put food. Um, I, I just typed food into the search bar. 
<clears throat> Food Cubes was great. I love that quiz. Here we go. Veal fried in breadcrumbs. What is Wiener Schnitzel? What is Schnitzel? Salted and fermented shredded cabbage. That's sauerkraut. Goose or duck liver. Foie gras. Chilled tomato based soup. What is a gazpacho? Rice dish cooked in broth with saffron. What is risotto? Sliced raw fish. Come on. That's sushi. I mean, without rice. Sorry, sashimi. <laughs> Puree of eggplant and ground sesame seed paste. What is baba ganoush? Frankfurter fried in cornbread batter. What is a corn dog? Minced lamb pie with a potato crust. Farmer's pie. Cottage pie. What? It's, they're all the same cottage farmers, plowman's lunch, sp speckled hen, spotted dick, you know. Different meat. Yeah, okay. Fillings coated with masa dough and wrapped in a corn husk. That's tamales. Yogurt drink. Kefir. Yogurt drink. Oh, uh, what is a lassi? Fried or baked phyllo dough with a savory filling. I want to say baklava, but that's not, no. Fried or baked phyllo pastry with a savory filling. I don't know it yet. Meat and vegetable soup seasoned with paprika. That's goulash. Thinly sliced beef fillet sautéed with mushrooms and sour cream over noodles. What is a stroganoff? Beet soup. What is a borscht? Spherical semolina wheat granules. That's um, couscous. Hot dish of melted cheese. Fondue. Chickpea paste. Hummus. This is a kebab. This is um, souflaki. Meat, tomato, onion, tzatziki, on pita bread. This is a uh, gyro. Roast duck with thin, crispy skin. What is Peking duck? What the hell is a fried or baked phyllo pastry with a savory filling? I give up. Because I want to glance. It's Spanish opera. It, oh, no, it's not. It's burek. I'll be honest with you. I feel like I did really well on this quiz. I do not know Borek, to be honest with you. Average score 52? Are you kidding me? I thought this was like an easy one. Countries by salt and pepper shakers. Countries by cuisine. Can you name the countries based on the dishes they're associated with? Cannelloni gelato Chianti. That's Italy. Chicken vindaloo. India. Shochu, Japan. Horchata, Mexico. I'm going to guess this is Brazil. Bunny Chow Biltong Magyu is Indonesia. I mean, that's the Philippines. That's the Philippines. That's the Philippines. That's... I can't glance. I would like to go next. We'll come back to it. This is Scotland, France, Vietnam. No, that's Cambodia. No, that's what I meant to say is Thailand. Tim Hortons coffee, don't insult me. That's Canada. This must be Poland. This is Korea. Tajin, that's um, Morocco. Currywurst, Germany. Mojitos, Cuba, right? Vegemite on toast, Australia. Sir Stroming, Sweden. Tej is Ethiopia. Rosti, is Ger uh, I guess it's not Germany, it's Austria, is Denmark. Rosti, is Switzerland. Moussaka is Greece. Aki and Saltfish, Stamp and Go, Ting Soda. United Kingdom? Is this England? Be honest with me. Ting Soda? Give me a next. Pho? That's Vietnam. Hotspot Bitterballen, Yennefer. That's Austria. Hotspot Bitterballen, Denmark? Biltong is kind of throwing me. Because when we were at my in-law's place, 
they had biltong. And in my head, I was like, isn't it just like soft beef jerky? And they were like, yes, it's from Southeast Asia, right? It's not from Malaysia. It's not from Indonesia. It's not, did I spell the Philippines right one of these times? I think that's how it's spelled, or this, or this, or this. Okay, that would have spelled it. I give up. I have to give up because I'm going to glance. South Africa! I wasn't even close! Bitter ballin' from the Netherlands. Ting soda from Jamaica. Country food matchup? I was humbled on that quiz. Okay, we, that's too easy because we just did it. How about 24 Indian dishes? Can you select the correct image for each of these 24 Indian dishes? Vegetable biryani. Masala dosa. It, it, well, it's, let me look, but it should be... Well, it could be that, too. Could be this. I mean, it should be that. Oh, that's tough, man. Palak paneer. This is cheese in a green sauce. Right here. Roasted meats wrapped in a thin paratha bled, bread. This is not a dosa. This is a dosa. Which means this is kathi roll. Tandoori chicken. Upma. A solid breakfast of porridge. I don't know it. Deep fried puffed bread made from unleavened whole wheat flour. Seems like it could be that. Just wait for it. Savory steamed rice cakes. Could be this. Samosa. Okay, that's, that's the gimme. That's the free space. Those samosas look... Uh, Bussin for real. This looks like garlic naan to me. No, this is garlic naan. Chana masala right here. Paneer tikka masala. Vegetarian curry with cottage cheese cubes in creamy masala gravy. That would be this right here. Papadam right there. Sambar. It's a lentil stew. I believe this is sambar. But it could also be, the, I'm mostly, I don't know which one is sambar, which one might be dal, okay? Gulab jamun, they're little donuts, delicious. Sweet pudding dish made by boiling milk. Mulligatani, okay. I feel like this is mulligatani. Mulligatani, let, let's narrow it down a little bit, but I feel like that's the mulligatani. It's a, it's a thicker, spicier soup. Tomato udapam. Griddled street food? Couldn't tell you. Keep me going. We have five minutes. Spice scrambled eggs served with onion and chili? That would be this. Mango lassi? That would be this. Grilled chicken? I'm going to guess that is that. Pakora? The goat? Okay, here we go. Now we get started. <laughs> what are we at? 14 correct, 10 remaining. A frozen dairy dessert, typically denser and creamier than ice cream. That would be this. A popular breakfast food. I feel like it's that. So wait, no, soft fritter? Come on. Come on. Masala dosa. Okay, is, we knew it was that. I've always seen them not as the circle, though. I've always seen them as the long boys, like a cylinder. A thick, solid breakfast porridge. It's got to be that. A deep-fried puffed bread made from unleavened whole wheat flour. You do not look deep-fried. You look deep-fried. Savory steamed rice cakes. You look steamed. Lentil-based vegetable. Okay, forget that for a second. A sweet pudding dish. Mulligatani. Common griddled street food. Tomato atapam. Soft and fluffy text. Dude, I gotta be honest with you. I think you're, are you a soft fritter or are you a tomato autopom? I don't know. I don't know. Popular breakfast or snack food. Okay, I, I gotta make a decision, okay? Lentil-based vegetable stew. One of you is a mulligatani. You're, you're the sambar. You're the mulligatani. That's painful. I think, I think you're tomato autopom. And you're Meduvada. I'm proud of myself, but I feel like I could have done better. 
I should know what mulligatani looks like. It's not only a great soup, it's a little spicy, and it's in Seinfeld. How about Chinese food picture click? I can't do that. I, 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 I can't do that. I'm sorry. How about meat geography? Holy cow. The countries that export the most of each animal? No, I want to see the country that eats the most. Fishy countries, apples and oranges. Countries with the most avocados. Countries filled with nuts. How about snack countries? I don't want to do import-export, okay? Top cheese consumers? Easy. I'm going to make you laugh. I think number one's America. But, okay, never mind. I would then start to go continental Europe. We'll go France. We'll go Switzerland. We'll go the UK. United Kingdom. We'll go England. You guys aren't eating much cheese over there, huh? Um, Netherlands. Vatican City. One dude who loves cheese could do this. Italy. Liechtenstein. Luxembourg. I don't buy it. I actually don't buy it. I, don't, I think this quiz is wrong. I don't believe... Here's what I'm thinking. Monaco. <laughs> okay, I give up. No, I don't... I, when faced with the facts... I say forget the facts. Denmark and Iceland, number one, I don't believe you. Denmark, Iceland, Finland, most cheese per capita. It's because they're tall? What, what do you mean? Like, what does that even mean? I'm from Iceland, we do eat a lot of cheese. In Denmark, we eat a ton of cheese. More than France? Finland eating as much cheese as France is throwing me for a loop. What, is there a, a famous Danish cheese? Or do you eat imported cheeses predominantly? That's not a... I'm not firing shots. Havarti? Okay. Fontina, cottage cheese is big too. Norway invented Jarlsberg. It's a good cheese. All right. Oh, you know what? I think, I think you've exposed my ignorance, and I accept that. Top beer-consuming countries. Rank number one, 142 liters per person on average. That can't possibly be true. That's like a, that's like a pint a day, including even non-drinkers in it. My first guess would be Czechia. My second guess would be Germany. My second guess would be Austria. My second guess would be Russia. I mean Denmark. I mean Iceland. I mean Finland. I mean, Sweden. I mean, okay. My next guess would be the UK. They're way down there. Belgium, great guess. What? USA? Canada? Canada's not even, we don't even get an honorable mention. Holy cow. Try the Baltics. Estonia. Lithuania. Latvia. Wow, you got your finger on the pulse, honestly. You're absolutely right, South Korea. Ah, you know what? No, 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 no. They drink a lot of soju. That's a good point. Like, I don't think Japan would be up there either because do they drink a lot of beer? Yes, but also a lot of sake. Also some wine. Also, they got all the plum wines and the shochu and the... At continental Europe, I'm not saying it doesn't have wine. Obviously, you look at something like France, something like Italy, but particularly like Central and Eastern Europe, uh, until you get to Russia, I'm like, that's where beer is like the drink of choice, I feel. So maybe Poland. 
maybe Slovakia. Maybe Luxembourg. Maybe Monaco. Maybe Slovenia. Ah, eh, whatever. I'm over it. <laughs> Seychelles and Namibia. Those were my next guesses, dude. That one guy in the Vatican City who eats all the cheese. Coffee consuming countries. What are all of them? Countries by per capita alcohol consumption. I'm stunned it's not number one. It's got to be Seychelles, man. <laughs> this, I hate that these lists are exposing my inherent biases, man. I give up. Latvia? How about fast food countries? Can you name the countries with the most of each fast food restaurant? Can I throw you for a loop? Obviously, America's number one in every single one of these. I'm going to make, I'm calling my shot. I think Canada is number two in subways. Whoa! That's more impressive than actually getting the top answer. I'm telling you, you can't shake a stick in this country without hitting like four subways. You want to talk about calling your shot? Okay, number one. I mean, again, I hate to do this because this is more like just name a country. I actually want the quiz to be in reverse. I want it, the quiz to be one question. Estimate how many KFCs Canada has. And I would be like, okay, well, I know it is 645, so that's what I would guess. But I would be like, okay, well, we have 10 provinces. Um, but really only four of them have any people in them. Every big city probably has five KFCs. Every small town probably has two. I'm going to say, if you carry the six, I'm going to say 645 is a good guess. Who's number seven in McDonald's? I could not tell you that. Let's try it. That's, that's a fun way to play it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So who has 1,285 McDonald's? We would think about a country that's roughly the size of Canada, perhaps. Maybe around 40 million people. I'm going to say that the answer to that question is the United Kingdom. I give up. You can't hurt me. His Fermi problem flowchart, it's, it's, it can't be stopped. It simply can't be stopped. Anyway, let me see if my wife's ready to stream. <laughs> 